Hey guys, my name is Pixel, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Chronicles Origins. Now, in between episodes, I did do a decent amount of work, but I didn't really mean to. It's just, you know, I recorded an episode before this, and, bef and I recorded an episode in between this one and the last one, where it showed, like, everything that we're doing. But then I realized, you know, I watched it after I edited it through and all and everything, and I watched it, I'm like, this is really boring. If I was watching this video as a viewer, I would just click through, I mean, not, like, click through, I would just click off, like, click out of the video, like, three seconds into it, because it was so dumb and boring. It was literally just me planting a bunch of, like, planting a bunch of seeds and trees and stuff, and then just touching up a couple of things. So I didn't record it, but I did save a couple of clips before I deleted the the final video of that. So I'm going to play them on the screen right now. And as you can see, I just planted some of the trees. Like, I started, like, an, a little bit of an orchard, and I started this little farming area, which I will show you in a minute. You can kind of see it out the window to the left of me. And I also um, decorated my house, and I went mining a little bit, and I installed a couple more mods in between episodes. So obviously, as you can see, I did a little bit of work in this blacksmith area, and I, I made these, like, casting channel things here, and all it is is basically... Um, I can pour stuff out of here, and instead of having to pour each one individually, I can just pour them in a line. And also, I made some more of these casts. But then I realized that when I pour it, it gets stuck in all these casting channels, even if I don't have them, like, this one faced down to flow down. So I end up having to make it so- oh, it's raining. Great. I end up having to make it so that it goes down, so that there's, like, a casting channel that goes down one more, and then goes down again, so it goes, like, all the way over here. And, you know, I just realized that thing, not that, I need to fix that just a little bit. There we go. And so now it's like it goes into a loop and then goes right back into the machine. And also I realized that I died in this thing while building it up higher. And I am getting blood in this thing. I didn't even know that was a thing. And I realized that now it's gone and it made this pig iron thing. So it took some of my iron and it mixed it with blood and it made pig iron. And I'm like... You just wasted my iron! You know, I just went mining for a bunch, I mean, now we have 14 blocks of iron. So, it's not, it's not like it's a huge, huge deal, but it's a deal. Like, it's a big deal, you know? We could use that. And also, I realized that my tool, this tool is getting really low. So, I'm just gonna switch it out for my pickaxe. And we may have to make a new one, or make, like, an anvil. Actually, we can make an anvil now, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'll do that later. And, you know what? Is it nighttime? Doesn't look like it, because I was saying I can sleep, it'll skip the rain. I don't know, but this is like, oh god, I just wanna, this, this seems so empty, this building, because obviously I, see, oh wait, okay, I can sleep, it's that time, good, but I moved my house from this house to my new, like, Tudor style house, and I'm so happy about it, I love it, and, oh, also, I upgraded the nether portal, so if we just walk down here, also I added these stairs here, I think it's right here, Oh, yeah, I gotta put, like, a block here or something so I can actually get up here. Just one second. There we go. Okay, so this is the new nether portal. Basically, I made these, um, these, like, lanterns, these iron candle lanterns from, uh, Bibliocraft, and I cut down some trees, and then I also made these, like, these, like, a sun and moon from, uh, Decocraft, and I just kind of decorated this place, and I really like it now. I think it looks a lot better than it did before, just, like, a square room but um yeah let's go back upstairs and then i didn't do too much else in this area except obviously i upgraded this and now we have this is really blacked out but you'll see why and i oh also i built the second aviary apiary not apiary i have to redo these i'll clear that out in a moment but i just want to see if these are spreading yes they are good 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 but um wait a second why is the why did- the water wasn't this high up before. Um... Are we having some kind of flooding problem here? I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that out in a moment, but I just want to show you what else I did first. Um, so, and then you walk up this stair, these stairs, and this is the garden that I was talking about. So now we have, I spent like so long circling far and wide. You can see I have like, oh, wait, what happened? I, I promise you there's a whole bunch of other stuff. I just don't know why I didn't save. 
Oh, I think it's because I turned the mini maps off. It's fine, we didn't need them anyways. But, um, I went far and wide and I got a whole bunch of stuff and I made, like, every kind of seed, that I believe every kind of seed that we have in Pam's Harvest Craft. So now we have everything, and I mean everything. We have, um, we have, like, pineapples, you can see here. We have melons, we have pumpkins, we have wheat, we have, like, every seed imaginable in this mod and in Minecraft, so that's nice. And then also I put some sugar cane down here, and also I made like a little rake here. And then if we go, actually I'm gonna close this first. And then if we go up here, I made this little wheat sign for farming. And also, these are one of the mods that I downloaded in between videos, and it's the uh, Minecraft Comes Alive mod, I don't know if you guys have heard of it. But basically it changes all the villagers in the mod to look like real people. So, and you can actually interact with them, and like, marry them, and have children, and stuff, and basically have like, an actual life now. And, see, this is one of the guys that's a... What are you? I think you're a guard. If I can walk up here... God. Where'd you go? These people just run away from me. That sun is way too bright right now. But, um, you can see there's like, a whole lot of people here. And, I think that something happened when I downloaded the mod, and they like just multiply like multiplied multiply like crazy because there wasn't this many villagers before i don't think and that's new i gotta check that out in a moment but i built this wall here then i ran out of material so i just filled that up with fences but i plan on putting this these like kind of walls all around the village so that it like it protects them because i saw the whole horde of zombies coming up from here and just coming into this house and i download this mod that's called the peaceful surface mod and basically what it does is it only allows um like mobs spawning in, in caves i don't even know if it works to be honest because that horde of zombies did not come from any cave because i don't think there's any caves underneath this mountain but i don't know but this place, what is this? A fishing? One golden nugget for three fish? Um... Ooh. This is really helpful for what I want to do today. Is that a hanging rabbit? That's a hanging... Those are hanging rabbits and then fish. Oh no, no, no those are birds! Um... Get it. You're just staring at me weird. Okay, so I guess this is like a fish shop. This is kind of nice. It sells a whole lot of stuff here. And we may need that today. I'm not sure. But then I also upgraded the little reindeer house. And I just put some deco craft things in. And I put some troughs in because in case they were hungry. And I, I really got in touch with my chisels and bits side of everything. And I had a bunch of this stuff left over from the house, so I kind of just like placed it in here, and I think it looks really nice. And also, I used a lot of the iron that we that we got to make a whole bunch of these fairy lights, and I put them everywhere. So I think it looks really nice. And also this window here, I just put it here because you know I kind of want them to feel like they're out open, but they're still in the house because I don't want them running away. Um, I think that's it in this area. And then obviously you can see this, and you're like, what is that? There's a whole there's a whole pathway leading up there now. And also, yes, chisels and bits. I have like a really cool pathway that I made here. And then basically if we lead up here, like if we walk up here, it leads to the actual house. And I have this beautiful pathway that leads here to this beautiful entryway, and I love it so much. It took me like at least two hours just to make this thing. But I have like all these chisels and bits blocks, like the chisel bits blocks on the second floor of my storage area. So we'll see exactly how much I use. And it was only, it wasn't even like a stack of anything. It was just maybe like 10 blocks of each everything. And it's crazy. There's like I used so little, but basically this is the living room. I kind of wanted the first floor to be like a real house and then the second floor to be everything else. But this is the living room. This is the kitchen, which I have stocked full of all of our like food stuff that we'll ever need. And then I have some stuff from like Pam's Harvest Craft and Animania and then Deco Craft on the bottom just to like spice it up, make it look nice. And then also this door back here just leads into the dining room, so it's like an easy access point. And then I have this cute little fireplace thing, which actually we can use as a furnace. And I just made this little like rainbow poster thing on the wall, just because I wanted to, I thought it would look nice. And then this back, if I can get out of the seat, these doors actually lead out to the back, which I made this like little 
swing here, which we can actually sit on, so that's nice. I made this little... I made this little swing just because I want something back here, but I just didn't know what to put here. That sun is blinding, God. Um, but yeah, and I have these, like, purple razzle color, you know, like, flowers sticking off the side, and you actually have a really good view when the sun's not in my eyes. You have a really good view of that, like, um, astral sorcery shrine temple thing back there, and also I have this little garden here. And then the door in the kitchen on that side just leads right out here, but it's, like, a different entryway. It's just this. And then to the second floor, there's not much up there because it's just like one floor that I didn't really put any walls in or anything. And both staircases lead up to the same area, but this is my, like I have a bunch of bookshelves here and I just spread them out. Originally this was one in that little miner's hut house thing, but they were like all stacked up. And then I have like a bunch of, I'll put a bunch of stuff on display here. Right now I have the, uh, what is that? What is that? Oh, that actual sorcery and then the, Mysticum Encyclopedia, or Encyclopedia Mysticum, and then this is like my storage area, but this will be for like items, so I have this huge wall of a bunch of items that we got, and oh, this guy, yeah, so I found, I'll play the little clip now, I found this guy when I was renovating the barn, and he was right next to me, and he was so cute, and I had to tame him, and I didn't know how, but I looked it up, and eventually I found out that you have to take, um, uh, I think it's like just three seeds in the crafting table, and then you make hamster food, and then you tame him. So now I can stand him up, sit him down, and follow me. I just have him sitting right now because I don't want him moving. But now we have that little guy. So I have much stuff here, and this will be for like strictly for items. And then this storage area will be for like blocks and stuff. And I kind of have this stuff filled up just a little already. And this, all of these are like almost completely full, and this one is, I believe, yeah. Look, there's like all these different blocks here from all the the like chisel bits that we got from here because I think you at least get like I think you get like 600 from one block. I'm not too sure about that. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that you do. And also we have like these skylights up here and these fairy lights that can actually turn on and off. And I thought that was just like a really nice add-on for ceiling lights. And then up here is my bedroom, which you have to climb these spiral staircases, which I love. And then you just come up here, walk in here, and this is the bedroom. So it's, you know, not too much in here. It's kind of decent sized and I like it. But I have like a little closet area over here. I have these like little white quartz cubbies, which I don't know what I'll put in here. But we'll do that eventually, like going as like we'll fill each one up in an episode or something. Like, so 10 episodes from now, we'll have each one, each, like all of them filled up. I don't know how we'll do that. But this is the bedroom. I really like it. And actually, we can sleep in these beds. So that's nice. And then I have a little dream catcher here, which is floating. I gotta fix that. But then we also kind of have like a good view of the, of like the field out there and the backyard. So that's pretty much it for in here. Now on to the barn area. And go figure, just as I say that, it starts to become night pattern. So let's just sleep and then we'll be over there. Oh my god, I hear those chickens and they're like so loud. But basically this is the barn. I decorated a little bit and I kind of made it a little bigger on the inside. But I had to fill these fences up because these chickens kept coming over running because I wasn't like picking up the eggs in the nest. So they kept hatching and it was like so annoying. And one is dead over there. I'm just going to leave that go. But so I had to fill these up because they kept escaping. And I just filled this pen in. I don't know what to put in here. We don't have anything to put in there now. And then also I found this horse on my journeys. And so now we have this guy. We have to build some kind of stables for him. But I'm just leaving him in here for right now. And also this is the sheep area. And I had to expand a little fencing unit in the back on both sides. And I had to add more troughs and water, which I need to feed them again, I think. Yeah. But I had to expand it because it was like so ridiculous. I oh, know you're well fed. You're fine. Um, but I expand it because it's so ridiculously annoying because there's like no room. And also I found this guy. It's a longhorn cow. And I'll show you that clip. Well, you already saw that clip. I think that these guys are maybe escaping. Like, there's this little area back here that's just kind of like small little area that you can't do much in. But they're like, oh, hello back here. You're so cute. But, um... One of them died. I think that's safe to say. That's sad. But, um... If we come up here... I have little pigs, piglets in here, two of them, a brown one and a pink one. Then we also have two peacocks, which we I found on a journey. And then, I think they're peacocks. They're not peacocks. I don't know what they are, 
but they kind of look like them. Um, and then I have these little rams. Well, it's a ram and a goat in here. So, that's nice. Well, they're the same thing. They're goats, but it's just like boy and girl. Um, and then that's really it for the farm. Not the farm, the barn area. But then, as I was showing you, we planted a whole orchard. And this is what this path leads down to if we turn left. And I love this fairy lights area. I decided to keep these dark oak trees here just because I love how they look. And I love how the sun glimmers through the leaves. But, oh my god, it's so bright. <laughs> but, um, if we go into this field, there's this beautiful orchard down here. Which I had, a, like, a whole lot of torches so that nothing would spawn. But... You know, we have this beautiful area, and it's like all the different kinds of fruits and stuff. I, I'm pretty sure I got everything. I'm not too, too sure, but, you know, I'm pretty sure I got everything. So we have like a whole bunch of nuts and fruits and whatever else grows on trees. So, yeah. Oh, and then also we have these little, it's like a spiderweb tree. And then there's a paper tree, so... It's not, I can't do it yet, it's still growing just a little bit, but if you right-click on the paper bark tree, it gives you paper, and then if you right-click on the webs, yes, see, it gives us string. So that's nice, because it means, like, if we need string for, like, the bound, the bound leather, so that we can make, uh, like, something, like, I think it's, like, burnt leather or something to make backpacks, you know, we have that for that. And then that's really all the upgrades that I made to, like, the whole village in our area, so, now let's get into the actual video. We're like, I don't even know how long we're into this video now, but, you know, this is actually where it's finally starting. So, I was thinking that what we should do in this video, and that's what I was saying about that fish shop is really helpful, is because what I was thinking is that we should make a bunch of different like different kinds of food and stuff because now that we have like a kitchen set up and stuff and we have a whole order for it i kind of want to make some like some omelets or some kind of something because when i eat these like the steak normally in minecraft steak would give you like i think it's like three or four hunger bars and it refills it but in Pam's Harvest Craft, it gives you like half or one, and I assume that's because this is normal steak. It's not like prime beef steak, because if we go in here, it's like, I think it's with Animania. We have all this like prime pork, prime steak, prime beef, prime bacon, prime chicken, prime mutton, a whole bunch of stuff here. And it's a big difference than just the normal food. So I was thinking that instead of doing that, what we could do is we could just, you know, cook a whole bunch. With, I didn't mean to drop that. Cook a whole bunch with Pam's Harvest Craft and get a whole bunch done in it. Also now though, we have like the whole farm area and stuff, which you can really see up here. But so yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You can see them. That's just creepy looking. They're just staring at me. Um, oh. Z turns the, the waypoints off and on. That's nice. I'm gonna keep those off because I don't like how they, like, run up through my ceilings and stuff. Oh, also, you can kind of see the, uh, the fireplace chimneys on both sides. That's nice. And I, I only have one fireplace on this side which doesn't actually light a fire and i have nothing on this side i just wanted one on both sides because it just looked nice but yeah let's get into the kitchen and i don't know what we should start cooking i've never really played around with mods before and i've never played around with pam's harvest craft especially so i really just decorated the kitchen i didn't get to do anything else with it and i made all of these stuff like the egg basket i think that's what it is yeah an egg basket and like this chocolate cake here with uh, deco craft and I just put them in because I kind of wanted to fill the area up and then also the fridge I have all this stuff placed in here. I have some fish that I caught uh, a bunch of different eggs and meat like all raw stuff so that it doesn't spoil sitting out I don't know if it would actually spoil because it's Minecraft But I just wanted to do it and then also I have like a chopping board of carrots here and a bacon pan Well like a pan of bacon and my little stove top and oven. So let's get started So I don't know exactly where to start in this I'm thinking the first thing would be to look up Pam's Harvest Craft. Is there like a book, like a manual? And then there's these markets and shipping bin things. I don't know if we need any of that. But, so there's a grinder and a water filter. And then, oh, also, I looked it up and we need, oh, where is it? It's this thing. Yeah, presser to make wax. 
and I think to get honey, but we don't need wax because you get white candles and it's just all this stuff, and it was just easier to make the little baby little craft ones, so I don't know where we should start. Let me just look through all this, and I will be right back, and I'll come up with like 10 different recipes or something for us to make. Okay, so I'm back, and I took some time to write a whole bunch of stuff down, and kind of pick, like, my favorites of it, and what they actually had in the mod. So I wrote down ten different things for us to make, and it's in four different categories. You have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and some kind of... five different categories, actually. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and a drink. And basically, there are two in each, and... I think we should just get started, but the thing is, I realized that I was looking at some of the recipes for them, and we actually need to make some items to actually, like, make anything, and I forget exactly what we need. I know we need, like, a pot, a skillet, like, some kind of pan, and I know we need, like, a mortar and pestle, I think, so let me just look for those. I know they have to be some- okay, here, 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 here. Um, we need- we need to make this stuff first, so we need a cutting board. I'm gonna make that okay so it's some kind of wood a stick and a brick i think we should have all that stuff you know what let me just craft like um the chopping board pot skillet saucepan bakeware mortar and pestle mixing bowl a juicer and let me just craft those and we'll be right back because i don't want to like just leave all this stuff here and me take forever to craft it because that's just gonna be at least half of the video so let me just craft that stuff we'll be right back and then mortar and pestle and i believe that's it looks like it okay so you know what let me just put all this stuff in here mess of an inventory but it's fine and i think i'm gonna put these up away in here because i have no room right now and i'll organize them later it's fine you know, we don't really need them necessarily organized right now. And I realize that there's no room for anything else. I just need one more thing. So I'm just going to take out the buckets. And I guess... I'll put the buckets in here for now. That's fine. So, the first thing on our list that we have to craft this. So I'm thinking we'll start... And I have two things on here. It's omelets and donuts. So let's look up omelet. Here we go. Um, so there's omelets. Okay, so this Pam Harvest Craft, and this is Animania. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. So there's ketchup, mushroom and ketchup. There's just normal. Then there's plain cheese, bacon, truffle, and super. That gives us potion effects. We don't have truffles, though. I don't even know how we get truffles. I don't, we don't have bacon. I mean, I think we can make cheese. So... Let's just make one of these things. So how do we make cheese? So we need cheese wheel and carving knife. I think I have one of those knives. I don't know. How do I make a cheese wheel? Let's look this up. Cheese. Oh, I need a cheese mold. Okay, that's not too hard to make. We'll just make that right now. And then what was the recipe again? I am so forgetful. Go. Oh. Dang it. Where should we put this? Um, well, we can pick it up really easily, so I'm just going to leave it on the floor right now, and then we'll put it up here later. So how do we make cheese? I'm guessing we just put milk in here. We have this milk. I can't do that. So how do I make cheese? Maybe I need, like, actual bucket of milk. Where did I put those buckets? I'm already forgetting. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go get some milk, and then I'll be right back. You should be able to give me milk. You can't give me milk. Uh, what about you? You, your bowls. So you don't work. Why? You're a female. You're supposed to be able to. Oh, you're hungry and thirsty. Um. Okay, let me get wheat and water. I will put water. Oh, you, you have water. You're just not eating. There we go. Now, can you give me? Yes. You can't get me any more. It says ready to milk. I'm trying to. Well, rude. I can get sheep's milk, can I? Like goat's milk and sheep's milk. Ready for shearing. No, I can't. Okay, so I can shear you, but I have the goats upstairs. And I'm pretty sure I can... Because I know what goat's milk is a real thing. You people just aren't eating. Um, do you have to... I think you may eat something else. Oh no, you eat- you- you eat what you call it! 
Get drinking stuff. Please? Okay, I can't milk you. It's fine. We have one thing of milk. It should be enough for the cheese. Let's just head back. Okay, so I was only able to get one thing of milk from the cows, and you can't make cheese juice and vanilla milk. This is Animania milk. I got it from the cows. Like, the longhorn cow. Okay, how do I get these things? So I can't use longhorn cows? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Actually, I I have some of that already. I think, yeah. Can I just use that? Nope. Okay, you know what? We're just going to use one of the Animania ones. It's not a huge deal. It's fine. I'll just break this. I'm mean, not the Animania, one of the Pam's Harvest Craft ones. Um, we have one of those Coca-Cola bottles out already. So I'll just replace that there. Creeper Hall, I'll just put that in my inventory. I don't need this stuff right now then. So if I go back to the omelets. Well, um, where is it? This one. So we need ketchup, mushroom ketchup. No, we're just gonna do a normal one. So we need onions, eggs, bell peppers, and a skillet. Okay, so we need the skillet. I think that's right? Saucepan. Uh, that's the skillet. Not that one, that one. We need onions. I have this organized by like color. And I don't, okay, here's onions. We only have one onion? That can't be right. That can't be true. I mean, I can always get more, but why do we only have one in here? I have no idea. Um, and then we also need bell peppers. So, let me just look for this. It should be in this area. Yeah, here. Um, bell peppers. We only need one. So, I'll put the rest back. And then, crafting table, omelets. Oh, I need eggs. Okay, um... What kind of eggs? I think this is the peafowl eggs? Or it's like prime eggs? I don't know. I'm just gonna use normal eggs, it doesn't matter. I didn't mean to drop those. And then we just need to go in here, here, and now we have omelets. Good! First things of food! So I'm just gonna put it on display for right now because I don't have much um, space in my inventory. Then put that in there. And then what's next? We have to make donuts. So let's just look up donuts. And what are we? Okay, so we can chili, cinnamon, frosted, jelly, powdered, chocolate, and normals. And we can also make boxes of this, but that's from Deco Craft. We can't, that's not edible. So let's make a cinnamon one. We need sugar or honey. And then we need donuts and ground cinnamon. Honey, I think we need a presser. So I think we're just going to use cinnamon for right now. I mean, sugar for right now. So how do we get cinnamon? Cinnamon and mortar and pestle. And then what else do we need? Normal donuts. How do we make one of those? Oh, okay. Um, dough and pots and cooking oil. How do we make cooking oil? Okay, so we need juicers and two seeds. Okay. Um, juicer. And then, I don't have any seeds on me, so I'll just make some more. Cucumber seeds should work fine. And then I think it was just like, yes, that's how we make the seeds. And there's one, two. Juicer goes up here. Yes, we got two cooking oil from that. That's good. And the juicers and stuff and like the mortar and pestles, they don't go bad. Like they don't break. So that's really nice. And then that can go there. I didn't move that. Oh wait, no, no, no. Wait a second. Something's missing from this picture. I'm missing the pot. Like the pan. Does it break after you cook with it? That can't be right, can it? I really hope not, but... Oh no, it's still in here, I'm an idiot. I forgot that the things stay in there, it's the kind of table that it is. Um, let's put that back in there, not, not the torches. There we go. So we have cooking oil, and then what else do we need? Uh, donuts, we need a dough. Okay, so we need water, mixing bowl, flour, and salt. How do we get salt? Okay, there was another kind there. Salt, and then this kind of salt. Water and pots. Okay, so we need water. 
I can take fresh water, and I need the cheese mold. And then... That goes in there. That doesn't work. So, you know what? We'll just use the animania... Not the animania way. The, uh... Ham's Harvest Craft way. Which was, we need the pot. Because we need to boil it, I guess. To get the salt out of it. Um... Pot. Not cooking oil. Pot and water. We get salt. And then, let's put the water back in here. You know what? I'm gonna get the ingredients for the donut. Like, get all this made, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so this should be it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I need the dough. I'm missing water. I just put the water back. Um... What was it doing? Oh, right. Uh, salt, flour, fresh water, and mixing bowl gives us dough. And I'll put the mixing bowl back up there and the water back in here i'm really fidgety with my mouse i don't know why it's like i don't know if it's i'm fidgety with it or it's like really sensitive or what but and then we need pot and cooking oil so we have we already have the pot i mean we already have the cooking oil we just need the pot there we go so it's pot flour i mean dough cooking oil we got a donut yay we're getting somewhere and then so now we have plain donut and then you know i guess i can put this cooking oil back in here just gonna put that right there and then we need uh cinnamon sugar so we need sugar and then we need ground cinnamon which we need mortar and pestle and cinnamon so i believe i have cinnamon bark stuff already i'm not too sure about that it's brown so it has to be it can't be oh no it can't be here it's this not that is it that i think it's this uh cinnamon kavasa we don't need the wait how do you pronounce that Cassava? I think that's how you pronounce it, cassava. I don't know what that is, but, so we need cinnamon, water and pestle. I'm just going to make all the cinnamon that we can get, ground cinnamon, and then I will put that back in here, and then it's donut. Oh, wait, also we need sugar. Did I have sugar canes in here? I think I may need to go down to the farm. Yeah, okay, I'll be right back, and we are back, and finally have the cinnamon. So, we need to make, well, I have the sugar cane, we need to make sugar out of the sugar cane. Let's make all the sugar I can, and then we need sugar, sugar, cinnamon, and donuts. Yes, sugar, cinnamon, donut. So now we have breakfast down and done. I'm gonna put sugar in here, and then cinnamon, I guess, in there too. Um, you know, this is like liquids. This shelving unit. I may need to put that lines. I'm probably gonna need to order this again. Order. Uh, order. Not order. Yeah, order. That's not the word I'm looking for, is it? Basically, I need to, like, redo this. Like, reposition everything. Um, so now we have breakfast done. Now we need lunch. So we have, uh, BLTs. Which I love, because I love bacon and, you know, everything that's in it. So we need toast, lettuce, tomato, and some kind of bacon. Or pork chop. I realized something, I don't want to kill one of the pigs because they're so cute and I can't bring myself to do it. Um, yeah, bacon, this is off the menu. So let's look up something else for lunch. Or let's do the first thing first, so I'm um, the other one first. So I wanted to do a, like an apple, it's like an apple jam thing and I love that kind of sandwich, apple butter. So apple jelly, so we need apple jelly, some kind of butter and bread, so jelly, it's sugar, apple, and saucepan. So once again, I'll get all the stuff that we need to make this sandwich together, and then we'll finally make it. One chestnut, good. And then we need, I think it's mortar and pestle, and then cooking oil, right? Cooking oil. Let's check that again. Wrong thing, that's apple yogurt. I want sandwich, we need Okay, so yeah, it is mortar and pestle, so it's just, uh, mortar and pestle, the chestnut, and that makes this flour too, okay. Uh, so we have chestnut butter now, and then, oh, I need to take that back out, so we can put that, I think, there, and that there, I believe that's how it went, and then chestnut butter, and we need bread, and a cutting board, okay, so... Bread, oh, wait, we make bread differently, I think, with Pam Star's Craft, because I remember I was having to eat the wheat before I had any actual food, because I couldn't make bread. Okay, so we need more dough and bakeware. How do we make toast? 
Is that the same thing? Is it just like cooked bread? Or is it like actually made differently? I cannot spell today. Oh my god. Not spell today. Okay, so we need bread and butter. Okay, um. You know what? How to make dough again? It's just water, salt, and flour. We have that, right? Water, salt, not sugar. I don't think we have any more salt. Ooh. Okay, and we don't have flour either, do we? Now, okay, you know what? I mean, I need to make a whole bunch of this stuff eventually, but right now, it's fine. So I think we can make almonds. We can make almond flour. And then we need, I think it's mortar and pestle. And I'm officially out of fresh water, so we're gonna have to get more of that soon. Which is really easy because it's literally just water, but still a little annoying. And then we need salt. Salt. What? A, wait, that's wrong. Uh, oh, right, we needed a mixing bowl to actually mix it in something. So, mixing bowl. And then that goes in there. We have dough. And we can take that out. We can put in the bakeware. And we got bread, finally. I feel like that stuff took forever. But this is a lot easier cooking in Minecraft than it is cooking in, you know, like, the real world. But I think we still need the cutting board. And then I think this may actually be it. It's bread, butter, and then apple jelly. Right? No. Oh, oh right. Cutting board. Yes! Okay, so now we have that. We have lunch. Well, half of lunch. So I'm just going to put the chestnut butter in there. And then take this cooking board back out. And you know what? I'm going to only do one thing for lunch because I have another thing that I think we should do instead. But let's right now move on to dinner. So we need, first things first, coconut curry. And I'm the kind of person that loves good curry. So, and I found this thing, it's, it's rainbow curry from here. And it's literally just rice, a skillet, and then all the dyes. So, and it looks really cool. So I think it's something that we should do. So we need red, orange, yellow, green, purple, and blue. So let's get the dyes first. Because they're just up here. They're on the, uh, the shelving units. I'm like, there's something on the floor, it's the hamster. Um, so we needed red, orange, yellow, uh, blue, purple, and green, I believe. So we need one, um, one. This is the only bad thing about putting the stuff on shelves is that, you know, you get like way more than one. But that, actually no, we need I'm so confused. We'll just put that there. Then this will go in placement of that. That will go up here. We just need one rose red. So that will go there. And then we need one dandelion. So it goes um, red, orange, not there. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Oh, dang it. You know what? I'm just gonna drop one on the floor. It's fine. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. Purple. You know, I, I get that, like, like even me, I when I bake or cook or whatever, and, like, I use, like, food coloring, it's fine. Like, it's just food coloring. It's not anything bad for you, technically, necessarily. But, like, dyes in Minecraft, it's like, I don't really trust it. <laughs> I just, like, no. Like, I don't want to. We need the skillet, not the saucepan. And then we needed rice. We should have rice. But we were missing a lot of other things before, so... I don't know. Maybe it's over here. Oh, no. Do we not have rice? I thought I gathered everything. But now I'm not too sure. Is this the same thing? It is. Mustard seeds. I'm an idiot. Um, What did it look like again? The rice... Okay, so it kind of looks like oats upside down. I'm gonna try to find this. Then if I can't find it, I'll just go get some from the garden and we'll be right back. Um, saucepan, we need rose red. So we need all these dyes. Just throw them in there and then we need, um, one thing of rice. That's wrong. I actually got 11 pieces of rice from that. From like four things planted. It's not too bad. So what else do I need? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Oh, I need cyan, not blue. Okay, let's just climb upstairs and change that out. 
and cyan's right next to it. I'm just a moron to realize that. And then let's just get back down here. I would like if there was like a staircase leading right into the kitchen from the second floor, but there's no room for it down here or up there, so it's fine. Then we have rainbow curry. And I want to just take a little nibble, just like, just, wait. Wait a second, I can't even eat this. I, duh, 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 duh. duh um. Wait, can I seriously not eat this? What about the other stuff? Wait a second, is this glitched? Okay, I can't eat any of this food, but it's fine. This is a cooking episode, and we're gonna have like our own little cooking show, I guess. Now, episode, the reason doing this episode completely changed. We, this is our cooking show. Welcome back to Pixels in the Kitchen. This is the this is the first episode of a brand new cooking show. Let's continue. Last time you saw us before the commercial, you were at. We were just starting dinner, so now we're halfway through dinner, and now we're going on to kind of like a snacky appetizer dinner part, and it is a uh, coconut shrimp. Okay, so let's just make coconut shrimp, because I can't believe we didn't eat any- we can't eat any of this. I didn't know that. That's annoying, <laughs> but it's fine. Like, seriously, um, coconut shrimp. So we need shrimp, cooking oil, Egg, coconut, and flour. Okay, so we need shrimp, which means we need golden nuggets. I think we have golden nuggets upstairs without having to pour them, like, into a casting. If we don't, we have gold. I know that for a fact. And then, oh my god, didn't mean to do that. Gold, we just need one, because I think it's one nugget for three fish. That's not a bad price at all, and I love this. You can't see the enchantment too much when it's on the shelf, but... When it's in your hand, it's enchanted golden apple, and it's like so exciting, and I'm so happy that we found that. I think it was in an actual sorcery temple. I'm not too sure about that one, but like I just I love it. It's such like a worthy accomplishment thing, but it's not even an accomplishment. I just found it. I didn't have to craft it. <laughs> but let's just go steal this man's fish. I mean, buy it. Fair trade. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it, it is like a thief. Thief. It's like a theft. Theft. Yes, theft. Um, what am I? I swear I'm going crazy because, but, like, it's all the low prices. So, this wall looks like a shrimp. Can you, you know what? You need to follow me and you need to get out of this crazy store. Can you follow me? Are you stuck here? Because, like, I'm confused. Move freely because you're just, I think this is just your new home now. Just, can you back up? Thank you. Um,. Where- Oh my god, people, get out! Shrimp. There we go. So I can only- You know, I'm gonna buy six. Because I can afford it. And then we'll put that back. And then I guess I'll just throw him the nuggets. There we go. Fine, sir. Thank you very much. Oh wait, no, 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 no. You just stole my money! Because I have to pay for him like this, don't I? Oh no. Wait a second. How do I pay? Um... I think it's like gift. Yes. There we go. I gifted. I paid, and he stole- He stole, I guess, like, what is this, like, dollars? I guess he stole two dollars for me. <laughs> but it's fine, I kinda just threw it at him. But... You're a druid. The druids even look like the Minecraft comes alive. I didn't know that, because the druids were, like, special-looking villagers from- I think it was from Roots. Also, we have to get into Roots, because we've kind of touched base on Astral Sorcery and got started in it just a little bit, but we haven't even started Roots at all. Like, we, we have the book, and we have Roots, like the, like the Wild Root, which I think is, like, the key to start everything, but we haven't really started anything in Roots itself. So, we have the Shrimp, and then what else do we need? Uh, Cooking Oil, which I think we're out of. We need Coconuts, Flour... Okay, so that's actually kind of easy. Flour, it's all like it's not too big of annoying things to make. So we need mortar and pestle. Then we need that. That I'm just gonna make all the wheat. I mean all the flour I can. Because I have the wheat, you know. It's, it's fine. And then we need I think it's the skillet. We need coconut. Wait a second, is that actually it? 
think that may be it. I'm, I'm you know, I'm doubling everything up because actually it is it. Yay! Because in like in, when you go to like Red Lobster or something or like and like I don't know if all I don't think all of Barn has coconut shrimp. I don't know any kind of restaurant that has coconut shrimp. You know, you buy it and then you barely get anything out of it. They like don't give you nearly enough. And I'm not the kind of like person that loves seafood or fish, but I will occasionally eat like imitation crab meat, which technically is a fish. It's not crab meat, but. Um, or like shrimp or something, so it's fine. And actually, I don't want this shrimp to go bad, and it is raw, so I'm gonna put it in here. I may need a second fridge. I think they have one block fridges too, so we may need to look into getting one of those and have like a second fridge. Because in real life, there's like most people have two fridges, like one as like a like a like a main fridge and freezer that they use for like everyday lives, and they have another one that's like um like overstock if they have more stuff or if their first fridge is like a smaller fridge and they have like a small freezer or something but let's just put this cooking oil um away in here down there let's move the milk down here and then so we have that you know what i can actually make fresh milk and then let's just put that i don't know why we needed more but it's fine and then silk cocoon mystical world okay we definitely have to get into roots in the next episode or something chocolate coconut bars how do we make chocolate cocoa powder fresh milk and butter okay you know what we'll look into this later we don't need Ooh, hot cocoa we'll look into this stuff later we don't need it right now um now we're moving on to dessert which i wanted some kind of cake or something and i was thinking I don't know what they have here. Cherry cheesecake. Ooh. The other day, I went to the cheese... Well, not the other day. Some time ago now. Maybe, like, a week. But I went to the Cheesecake Factory, and I ate this, like, white truffle... White chocolate truffle raspberry cheesecake, along with some other food and stuff. And it was so good. I loved it. River mud cake. I've heard of it, but I've never had it. Um, red velvet cake, pumpkin cheesecake, pineapple upside-down cake. Ooh. I love a lot of these. I don't know. There's cupcakes. We can make cupcakes. I don't think we will, though. So I want. I don't want anything too, too formal and too hard to make. So that's kind of seems like a lot. That doesn't seem too much. You know what? Let's make pineapple, pineapple upside down cake. I love pineapple upside down cake. So we need walnuts, cherries, uh, pineapples, and dough, and then bakeware. So how do we make dough again? Salt, water, mixing bowl, flour. We're out of water. Is there anything that doesn't require dough by any chance? This doesn't. That's like holiday, it's too formal. Uh, this doesn't require dough. This is, what is this? Cheesecake. Oh, well, cherry cheesecake. Okay, so we need cheesecake and then cherries. Okay, so we just need, how do we make batter? Okay, so it's not water, thank God. So we need flour and eggs. And then, I think I need sugar, I'm not sure about that. So we needed a mixing bowl. We need flour. I just made flour and I'm now I'm out of it. I realize that now, but it's fine. So we need more and pestle and then we need i think i can make flour out of really like anything so i'm just gonna make flour out of almonds yes this i guess it's like um oh what is it called like um oh what is it like um like the thing that's like gluten that's what it is like gluten tolerance um so we need flour what else did we need there's cheesecake, batter, flour and sugar. I mean, flour and eggs. So let's just get the eggs out. So we need flour, eggs, mixing bowl. We have batter. That gave us three. Oh, I didn't mean to use up all the flour. Dang it. No, it's fine. It's fine. So we need sugar and then heavy cream or tofu. What? Silk and tofu. I want heavy cream or tofu. Okay, so we can't make heavy cream. Oh, no, we can't make heavy cream. So we need milk. And then a mixing bowl. And just put the mixing bowl away. And then we need milk. Surprise that there's nothing else in it. You know what? Let's make two heavy creams. I don't know if we'll ever need to use this. Actually, let's make four. Because I don't know if we'll ever need to use this again. But it's nice to have it. Like in the cabinet. Like in the pantry area thing. Instead of having to constantly make it. So it's uh, batter, heavy cream. And then what else was it? Uh bakeware and sugar or honey but we don't have honey right now because we don't have the presser so we're just going to use um sugar 
and we can actually make more than one. Let's make three. Wait, this cheesecake too? No. Okay. You know what? Yeah, let's just make the let's just make the two that scared me that noise, and then we'll have one normal and we'll have one cherry. I know we have cherry somewhere. Yeah, here. So we'll have one cherry and then take that out. So there we go. So we now we have cherry cheesecake and cheesecake. Dessert is done. Well, the first half. I also want something else. Forgot to put that away. And then we need to put sugar back here. I guess batter can go in here too. And then we'll put the heavy cream. I'll organize this after the video ends. I'm not going to do it right now because we're just waste time that we're already losing. So let's just put the eggs back in here. And then the next thing for dessert, which I want to do is our second dessert. It's like our last dessert, which is marzipan. Ooh, marshmallows. No, we're just going to do marzipan. Uh, so we need honey and then we need almonds. That's not too bad. I love marzipan in real life. It's like such a good thing to eat. It's like such, like it's really tasty. So, honey, and then, hope this will work. Oh, wait, no, 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 don't we need something else? Okay, so we need mortar and pestle to break this stuff, I guess. Yes, good. So, okay, now we're out of honey. But we can use, I can use the beehive then and I can more, and I'm just gonna make flour out of that. So let's put the mortar pestle back. We'll have a bag of flour in here now. Actually, let's just put it up here. And now we have, that's the wrong thing. That goes, not that, that goes there. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Mars pan, and now on to the drink. So I wanted to make two drinks, and it's some kind of smoothie, and then some kind of soda. So I'm thinking melons, Strawberries, apples, gooseberries, peach, uh, mangoes. I love mango everything in real life. So, two mangoes, snowball. We don't have snowballs. Can we make them? No. Oh, no. I don't think I found a snow biome yet. So we can't make a smoothie. Dang it. Let's move on to the second one, and then I'll find a second drink then. Um, so I want to do some kind of soda. And I'm thinking, let's do, let's just do cherry. So we need cherry juice, bubbly water, and salt. I mean sugar. Okay, so how do we make bubbly water? To water. Okay, so we don't have water right now, but we can do that in a moment. Cherries. How do we make this cherry juice? Okay, two cherries and a juicer. That's not too bad. So I'm, I'm get everything ready, and then we will be right back with everything that we need to make this stuff. Okay, so finally, we're back. I have all the stuff that we need, and I realized before we start that I'm just going to take this stuff out. So I looked up something, because I I remember, because I went to the well to get the water, and then I realized that I believe there is actually, like, a small, like, a one-block thing that we can get, like, that we can make, that is, like, an infinite water source that we can just put in our house. And I looked it up, and it is literally just a well. Here it is. Oh, we can use any kind of thing but that's fine i just i grabbed the granite because that's what it said um just pick that up and then i'm going to make that now and it's just granite like this and then that's why i was at the the blacksmith getting the like the iron so there we go well oh maybe not very useful please tell me that it is actually worked like that and it's not just like for decorative use because if i just wasted six ingots of iron and it's not a huge deal because obviously we have a lot but you know wasting iron in general is never good where should we put this i'm thinking we'll put it outside you know we can move it eventually let's just place it like right here for now so let's make um fresh water um i like using that normal than just like like more than just water from buckets because i feel like it's cleaner because it says fresh. And yes, there's an infinite water source. Good. It's not, it's, it's good. It's, it's useful. It's not, not useful. Because they said, oh, maybe it's not useful. It's very useful. Whoever made the mod or wrote that in or whatever. So I need that bucket. Thank you. Uh, so let's just place the buckets back down here. And so we need fresh water, sugar, cherry juice, and a pot. We're missing something. 
How do we make cherry soda again? There's a lot of stuff you can make with cherry. Well, that's cherry wood and stuff, but... Um... Where was it? It's here. Cherry juice? Not cherry juice. Cherry soda. Here we go. Oh, sugar pot. Cherry juice. Bubbly water? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm doing this wrong, so we need this stuff, and then we need bubbly water. So we make bubbly water by doing that, and then... Oh, we need a pot, don't we? I think that's what we need. Uh, so it goes pot in here. And then two bubbly waters. Yes! Good. So, let's just put the pot back in. Oh no, we still need that to make the, the cherry soda. And there we go, cherry soda. Now, I realize that this episode is still running a little long. And I don't know how long it will be after I edit things down and I time lapse some things and I speed some other things up. But I realize that it is getting long no matter what. So I'm going to end this, not right here right now, but end this soon. I just want to get all this food done and out of my and all this stuff out of my inventory so i guess let's just put that there for right now i don't know um let me just put that there so we made decent amount of stuff today we made nine items so this is good so we made normal cheesecake plain cheesecake i'm gonna go i'm gonna call it new york style cheesecake and then we have cherry cheesecake cheese steak cheesecake now we also have marzipan we have uh cinnamon sugar donuts we have omelets, we have cherry soda, we have rainbow curry, we have apple jelly sandwiches, and we have coconut shrimp. So I realize now that we can't actually eat. Oh, I can drink this. I realize now that we can't eat any. I can place that down, but I can't eat it. And it broke. Dang it. I'll make another one. It's fine. I think that we can actually eat the cakes. The, the, I just wasn't hungry for it. And I realized I can... I realize that we can probably eat all this stuff. I'm just not hungry right now. <laughs> like, my hunger bars are, aren't down because I haven't been running. Dang it. But we also haven't seen any mobs out. So I think that, like, I, I also have been playing a little through the night, too, outside to get, like, milk and stuff from the barn. So I do think that Peaceful Service Surface mod is working. But I'm, because I can't eat this right now, I think that we still can. I will make, in between um, videos, I will make another cherry cheesecake. But I think in the next video, we are going to gift all of this food around to, like, the villagers and stuff. Because, you know, they're villagers. They can't really cook for themselves. They don't really know what to do, even though now they're, like, actual people. They have, like, the little farm garden thing by them, and they have my garden, too, which they're... Which I'm happily to give them stuff from my garden. Just, they don't... They can't steal it. You know, if they ask, it's fine. But, so, I think we're gonna pass this stuff around in the... In the village, just so that people aren't starving and stuff. And what do you guys like about the house? Like, what's your favorite detail? And do you like it in general? Because I spent a decent amount of time, especially on this, like, foyer area thing. And especially, like, on all the window areas and stuff in the window sills. Because you have to place each block almost individually with chisels a bit. And they're really small, so it's kind of, like, really annoying to get in detail. But it took so long, and it's really worth it. Really paid off. So tell me, guys, if you like the house, please leave a like on this video. And make sure you subscribe, because it really helps me out. And con comment down below if you like the house and what your favorite detail about it is. But that is all for today's episode. Bye!